Hey, I'm back. Today I woke up and I found out that uh, Klanghelm had just released an update for DC8C2 and now it's DC8C3, which is really complicated to pronounce. But what it is, if you don't know, it's a compressor. And it's actually really cool because it's a Swiss Army Knife style compressor that can do lots of different styles of compression and it has lots of features in it. So they updated it, I think they changed the GUI and that was actually my problem with it before. I used it a while ago but I was having a problem with the meters and the GUI but I believe that's all worked out now. It's you know great and I think they even improved the sound which I thought the sound was pretty good before so I'm really interested to try this out. I haven't had much of a chance to check this before now so let's go through it together. So I'm going to try it here on Tom's. Let me open it here so you can actually see it. So this is what it looks like, the basic GUI. I think they actually changed it, so now it changes colors with the different modes. But it has an easy mode here where you can see it where it's just a few basic controls. And then it has a expert mode where it has lots of different features for like the side chain, the saturation, the threshold. And you can see here it has like feedback mix, uh, the amount. Uh, ratio, gain smoothing, you know, almost anything you could want. Maybe not anything, but has lots of stuff there. And it has automatic gain uh, control, which I like, so you're not being fooled by loudness. But I'll let you hear this, what I've been working on recently. It just sounds like uh, this. <laughs> So I haven't finished mixing this and I might even want to add some more parts and change some things. But you get the basic idea. But one thing I was having problems with was the toms. I need to control those a bit. So let me actually find something and just get the isolated toms here. Okay, so let me try something like this. Okay, I'm hearing a little bit clicking on my end. Hopefully that's not coming through to you. And so what I want to do here is just kind of control these. So let me look and see what kind of presets this has for toms. Another thing they did was they changed the menu behavior, which is a lot better. Before, it was really disorganized, but now it looks pretty good. So let's try tom solid. Okay. And let's play that again. Okay, so I like how they controlled it. That part was good. Uh, when I engaged the automatic gain compensa compensation, I like that. It kind of turned it down a little bit too much, but it did get rid of those large peaks, which is what I didn't like. Uh, let me try one more. Let's try Tom Snap. I like this. It actually keeps the automatic gain compensation. So let's hear how this sounds. So I like that. It's a little bit too much. There's already some compression on the tom, so I think there it's a little bit over compressed. But in general, I like what it's doing. But let's hear what this sounds like on some different drums. Let me try putting this on a bus. So let me leave it on solid. I like that. And now let's try putting it on the whole drum bus. And so I'll play it all here, and I'll just play the drums instead of everything just so you can hear what it sounds like the drums soloed by themselves now let's go through some of the presets they have here drums uh, let's see here drum kit control let's see how this sounds
I like that. You just kind of subtle, just kind of added some tone. I heard a little bit of room tone come out there, but it wasn't too uh, noticeable. Uh, let's see here. Drum kit, snare, trigger. I don't know what this to do. Let's find out. I guess so, yeah. It's like pumping based upon the snare. I don't know if I'd use it for this song, but it might be good for you know something else. Let's try Snappy. Yeah, that made the kick drum really snappy. That really did, you know, put some punch in there. I think it was probably a little bit too much for this song, but for something else, I think this would be really good. I actually like that one a lot. And uh, let's try drum kit parallel punch. I really like how that brought out the room tone of the snare. That's actually a really cool preset. That's a, a good one if you want to really bring out the room tone or the overheads or something. So I, I like that one a lot. Um, let's see. After that, let's try this on the main bus here. Let me move this over. I already have a ton of stuff on here. Okay. So I have DC8C. Let me close the other one. I don't know which one's which now. Okay, open this back up. Now let's see what they have here for Mix Bus. Oh, they just only have a few. I wish they had more, but eh, it's alright. Let's try just a little. Okay, it lives up to its name. It is just a little. I could barely tell what was happening with that. Uh, zero latency brick wall. I don't know if this will sound good, but this is probably useful for something if you don't want to clip. So, probably utilitarian. Let's see how this works. <laughs> Pretty much what I thought. Probably not the best thing to put on a mix to, you know, enhance the tone, but it might be nice every once in a while when you're producing something or you're just in the beginning stages of mixing, you make sure it doesn't clip. So sometimes you need that. Sometimes those, you know, utilities are good. And make it loud. Let's try this one.
actually like how that kind of glues things together. That one's all right. Uh, if I mixed the song better, it'd probably work even better. And of course, they have lots of other different things here. I like this, how they have the different styles, like the feedback, feed, board, feed forward, classical opto compression, uh, 160 d dBs, and alley tuning. I guess you, you can probably guess what those are. But uh, I think these are all cool, and I like how they did this. I hope they actually make more presets, but in general, I think they're pretty good. And I know you're probably thinking, like, eh, does a compressor really need presets? So maybe this is enough. And of course, you can copy these to the clipboard and then paste them online so you can share them with people, which is a really cool feature. So overall, I don't know. I don't remember exactly what it sounded like before. I remember it sounding good and it still sounds good. So I don't know how much they changed, but apparently they changed the underlying algorithms. And also it looks a bit better, especially this menu looks great. I'm glad they changed that. And this too, they changed from the VU meters to the digital meters, which I kind of like better personally. But uh, that's it for today. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. And until next time, see you.